Okay, first try with uh, body uh, response. I made a simple circuit and I'm using a very old uh, 12 volt uh, AC transformer or something like that. I don't even remember where it came from. Uh, the idea was to uh, insulate the scope from any uh, power supply. The documentation is shown like this. Basically it's based on a a transformer so on the uh, output of a switching power supply you have the direct output at high voltage and you want to in insulate the scope from that setup uh, for at least for the uh, function generator for the probe themselves they uh, they need to uh, be near um, uh, here it says 5 ohm uh, but uh, uh, f f you need the complete setup with the with a switching power supply. I will try this second, but first I just use a transformer and use the output of the transformer uh, with a filter on it. So for the filter, uh, I simply built something very simple and very precise. It's a, it's a T, uh, twin T notch filter. Uh, basically you put the, this is a nice page by the way, if you want to simulate, you go there. You put the actual number or value that uh, that you have, uh, 2K, 2K, 500 ohm, and then uh, three cap of uh, 100 nanofarad, and it gives you two frequency. And this frequency, this is something you expect to have. If I go down, this is the response that you're expected to have. So exactly at the frequency, uh, the attenuation will be maximum and uh, the phase will do something like, like this, a 180 degree phase. So if we go first, um, uh, first thing you, you need to make sure your amplitude is not too high uh, and not too low. It's, it's, it's not, uh, uh, well, the, uh, the body uh, analyzers do not like uh, having signal too low and also do not like to have too high. So once you got the function generator with something that makes sense, in my case, five volt at the input of the transformer, uh, then, then you're fine. So the output seems to be almost at the uh, pinch frequency. So I could put it at the uh, 1.1 Two, as the web page says, well, it's not exactly there. Probably I have uh, ca uh, other capacitance in the uh, in the circuit that I I'm not sure where it come from, but it's a simple breadboard, so it's more like 1.15. Uh, it's a simple breadboard with uh, all the component on it, and that's at the output of the. Uh, the transformer so that's the starting point once you're satisfied with the uh, setup then you goes with the body application uh, first you enable it and uh, you have uh, a hint of uh, how to work with it you have the same voltage that you need to put 5 volt uh, how many points the more points you put, the slower it is, but the more it average over time. Start frequency, the minimum and maximum are 10 Hertz. Uh, you cannot go below set to lower minutes, so it uh, override to 10 Hertz and same thing for higher frequency. However, 25 megahertz, this is way beyond the uh, capaci capacity of this uh, transformer. But just for the fun of it, it will be quite fast. Uh, let's let's start with this. It will be noisy, but uh, you could work. Uh, on this setup, you have tips. Tips is basically the same graph that we saw on the on the web page for the documentation of the five thousand uh, regal. It's the same thing, except it's uh, black and white, but basically the same idea. Uh, Right now we're not using like that, but uh, very similar to it. Fear setup seems to be some kind of mathematical filter. 
I'm not sure what it does because I don't see much of the effect, but uh, the only thing you have to do is select the input at kernel one and the output filtered from your setup at this. This is the linear or logarithmic uh, uh, progression of step-by-step. Step. At first, if you do a large uh, range of frequency, you could you start with logarithmic, but if you sample only a very small area, you could go linear. Um, display type is either wave, as we see in the back. If you put chart, it, it will make this uh, chart disappear and put on the right uh, place a table from each point and that table later could be um, save with this page you simply put uh, a place where you want and the name and it will save a classical uh, excel file you could reload it strangely when you reload it 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 redo the same calculation at the same time instead of quickly showing the the frequency i will show you so once your parameter are set uh, you simply do run. Once you do run, uh, you see on top the uh, the input of the uh, analysis. So the input is uh, scale until it, it probably uh, correspond to near 95% of the amplitude. And then you see the progression of the, of the thing. So Right now we are scanning from 10 Hertz on the red, on the left, it's the, uh, the input. So the output is zero dB from the input. So it stays on the uh, no attenuation there or, or the phase in green is going down. We are expect to have something a notch near one kilohertz, but we are sampling at very low uh, number of point. It will continue up to up to 25 but at some point the uh, transformer will panic and and the response will not be that good so past something like two kilohertz uh, two megahertz there is there is nothing useful there but some here i'm surprised it succeed uh, but you have to make sure that your your frequency response makes sense with the uh, the circuit that you have so we're completed the analysis and you regain control of the scope. You still have the uh, top function here. While it's scanning, you don't have access to anything except this, where you could stop the analysis or uh, cancel the entire thing and, and start with another set of uh, parameter. Let's start again. Uh, let's do 100, there is nothing below that and to save time uh, let's say 10 megahertz um, and that will be it when you do that the scale will update on the background 100 to 10 uh, but we could even go with uh, 10 kilohertz and the strange thing here it, it, the graph is is staying at the same limit so instead of scaling the 10 and put it in to the right it stays there so we are not using the entire display anyway let's start this thing and maybe put uh, more point so i'm not sure about the limit uh, let's say 20 point let's go back and run again now we'll hopefully use more time per frequency to analyze and have a better result. So it's working. Uh, we don't have any control on, on the amplitude. We don't have any control on the uh, horizontal scaling. Although you could put the, um, uh, if you change on the left, it scaled correctly to the left with the start frequency but on the right, it does not scale appropriately. There is a right cursor at the end of the analysis and with the, uh, the right button, you could go there and scan for whatever result. Here we are, something like there. So the peak 1.112 kilohertz, uh, 1.12.
and the gain is uh, minimum minus there's a minus yeah minus 28 db so it's if you need to have a deeper peak you need to scan with a lower frequency or more point i would say uh, around this area so that's the basic of it i will try to uh, improve on this and and uh, i will uh, get a, a switching power slide and try to have a complete circuitry this is just a, a filter a simple filter orbit there is no feature like that on the uh, old scope however the trays permit me to scan the amplitude over over time but it's probably the last day that i have this scope uh, the owner will get it uh, in, in a few minutes.